Well, um, um, well, first of all, the uh, um, I appreciate for this kind of invitations, and uh, you know, um, this is uh, the second time for me to visit here. Um, that today, I think, I hope uh, you understand the uh, why I'm developing a robot and what what kind of a robot uh, I want to develop after this. So actually, you know that today I, I have this, right, a little bit of creepy robot. You know, actually, that this is a robot. So I'm, going, I'm, I'm trying to convince you why. Why you're going to have uh, you know, that this robot in your near features, right? So I, I'm going to keep one of this one. And uh, so another one that so you can pass to the next, all right? OK. So um, the title of, um, of my talk is, uh, well, the human, androids, and the medias. So actually, I have, um, as uh, well, the coordinator they introduced, I have uh, two positions. One is Osaka University, and the other is ATR. The ATR is a research institute in Nara. And in uh, today's talk, uh, I, I'm going to introduce the uh, many robots from both the uh, organizations. So the, uh, what is humans, right? The, why we are living in this world and why, how can we survive in this world? And this is my you know, motivation to study the robot. This is the most important question for me. Probably you know, that we are sharing these questions, right? You know, we are not surviving in this world just for eating or sleeping, right? You know, why we are working, right? Why you have a job, right? So always you know, we are looking for the, the human self or we are looking for ourselves, right? I want to un understand more more about me, about the human. Therefore, you know, um, I have developed this robot. Um, um, I started uh, my robot project uh, from uh, 1991, actually. And the, around the uh, 2000, the, I have developed this, you know, the uh, mechanical looking, well, very robot-like robot. And however, you know, um, I, I had, uh, I have found uh, many fundamental questions like uh, the, um, um, well, for example, the, well, what kind of a design is the best for the robot? So what I want to develop is, uh, you know, interactive robot that works in your daily life, not, you know, the robots for the industrial applications, right? But the, um, if we want to have uh, the um, interactive robot, um, um, <coughs> human-friendly robot, what kind of appearance so, um, is better, is, is good for the, this robot? Therefore, you know, that I have the, uh, studied about the Android, and, and, and also the, I have uh, developed the, uh, many sensors for robots, so for example, the skin sensors. So middle robot has a very soft, you know, human-like skin sensors. So, and, you know, always I'm saying, you know, I, I was thinking the, uh, what is the ideal robot for, for and for people, for interacting with people, right? But, but you know, and of course, we have to consider the appearance and the perception, the behaviors, and uh, well, some sort of a human-like uh, developmental process. You know, the, actually, the robot want to have a very complicated the hardwares. Then, you know, that we need to think about the uh, um, how effective, efficiently they develop the software, right? So anyway, so um, the question for these robots, you know. It, it's same, same, um, same as the questions the, the, for the, the humans, right? You know, the, the, uh, well, the, for example, the appearance, how, how important the appearance, the human-like appearance, well, what's the meaning of a human-like appearance? What's the meaning of human-like behaviors? You know, the, the, uh, what kind of function we have as a perceptual the abilities, right? So we are asking the same question, the boss, uh, for the both, you know, human and robot. So I will say, you know, that my studies of a robot is, is, you know, is actually to understand the human itself, right? So um, let me give you the, a couple of uh, uh, the, uh, the ideas um, about the, uh, my work. Um, so first question was, uh, the, the how much the human likeness does a robot need to have, right? So in order to answer to this question, I have developed this the very human like the uh, robot the, you know, this is the android um, as you can see here you know the, the android has a very complicated mechanism and uh, well in, in addition to that the android they could have a uh, you know very human like facial expression also but however you know this android couldn't talk right well not well limitation was uh, the conversational abilities 
So the second question is, you know, can we develop the android that talks like humans? Okay. Actually, you know, it, it, this is quite difficult issues, right? Therefore, you know, that I have developed my copy, right? You know, that, you know, this is a teleoperated Android. Well, actually, the operator is talking through the internet. The operator is watching two monitors. The one, one is for the uh, visitors, one is for the uh, Android. And, and the computers in the front of the uh, operators, uh, they're analyzing the operators, the head movement, we're tracking the head movement and, the, uh, and analyzing a voice to, for generating uh, the uh, a lip movement of uh, the android. So, you know, and if uh, the, uh, the operator moves ahead, android, the head also moves. And if the operator does speak something, and the, the voice coming from the android, and at the same time in android, the lips moves. Okay. So, um, so the interesting things in this system is uh, the boss operator and uh, the visitor they can adapt to this system, right? Um, the adap um, about the adaptation of uh, visitors, right? Um, the, in the beginning of a conversation, well, you know, the uh, visitor has some uh, curiosity. What is this, right? So this looks like a human, but uh, this is not human, right? Um, therefore, you know, uh, the uh, visitor look at uh, the uh, um, uh, well, the many places, many uh, the parts of. Uh, Android, but you know, once we start the conversation, the visitor naturally look at the uh, uh, Android, the um, artificial eyes. You know, it's a fake, right? But still, you know, the uh, the visitor will naturally look at eyes and and the natural talk. So, pro, uh, and, and and in this case, usually, you know, the visitor, the well, the um, um, well, uh, you know, has a very similar feeling to talk with me. Because this is my Android, right? But and that is the uh, business adaptation. But um, the another adaptation is is for the uh, operators. Operator also, you know, can naturally accept this Android body as his own body, right? So um, let me give you an example. That, you know, so uh, unfortunately, this Android cannot work. Therefore, you know, that if someone push a cheek, you know, this is uh, an annoying, you know, annoying very much, and uh, you know. And uh, well, I, I don't like this, right? but so, um, but the, the, the very, very interesting thing is that actually the operator can feel a very strong the sensation on the cheek. So there is no sensory feedback, no actuators, right? The operator is just watching the monitors and talking, but still, you know, operator they can have a very strong feeling to be touched, right? This is a possibility of Android. So that means, no, this means that, you know, that we can, Transmit our presence to the distant place by using this Android. Why we have uh, this kind of uh, you know phenomena? Um, because we don't know the ourselves, right? So you don't know the, your face and the voice and gestures. You know that, right? Every morning you are watching um, the mirrors, but mirror is not your face, right? Human face is not symmetrical. Therefore, uh, if you compare the uh, uh, mirrors and the photograph, right, then this you know face is uh, completely different. Right? So all, the, every morning you are watching a long face, right? And the voice is and the same thing for the voice, right? So if you record your voice, right? You know, it sounds like uh, the, the other person's voice, right? You don't know your voice and your behaviors, right? So now you're hearing my, my talk, and, but uh, you don't know the, where is your, uh, well, you know, the uh, fingers and, right? and what kind of facial expression you have. You, you, you don't know that, right? So the people, you know, I mean, human does, you know, we don't know about ourselves. Therefore, you know, the ones we see the someone on the robot, that synchronizes with our movement, so we can accept that robot as our, you know, uh, their own body. So anyway, um, so by using this Android, we can do the many, well, the interest, the, the funny things or the, well, you know, interesting things. Now, as I said, you know, that I have a two, the appointment. In Osaka and in Nara, right? Well, Osaka and Nara, it's uh, two hours, you know, and the, the Android is in Nara. And, you know, and when I was very busy, um, if the, when I'm very busy, you know, that I'm using this Android for the meeting, right? So, you know, this, well, you know, we don't have any problem, right? And uh, well, the students and my staff, you know, can feel my authority also, right? But the problem is, uh, you know, the um, ATR, the research institute, that they say, you know, the, well, ATR cannot pay for me if I use uh, this Android, <laughs> right? You know, but 
But why? You know, now, my appearance is there. Behaviors, and talk, everything is there. Of course, you know, my brains and my maybe the uh, when the organs like a stomach is not there. But uh, you know, no, nobody checks so far, right? So how do you think? Uh, who am I today, right? I may be Android. You are also, you know, that you are just a sitting, right? You are just a sitting. So that uh, it's easy to develop that kind, you know, you're just a sitting Android, right? You may be an Android, right? <laughs> so, you know, the human society, well, um, we just trust each other. We just believe you are human, and you believe you, I'm human, right? Then, you know, we, we exchange the money, right? You know, the, and our basics of a human society is very, very ambiguous, right? It's easy to cheat. But, but, you know, the, um, it's quite important to touch this kind of uh, philosophical questions by building robots. You know, the, um, that is the, uh, uh, well, um, the, uh, well, how can I say, uh, um, the power of robotics, I believe. Well, anyway, so if we want, we can have a conference like this. And when we got the conference, you know, the most imp uh, um, impressive scene was the, com uh, the conversation with a blind person. You know, someone say, you know, this is a teleoperated Android. I'm, you know, so, um, th and this was in Australia. And I was in Japan. I was, you know, uh, I was talking through the internet. But someone said, it's, it, it's a kind of a TV conference, but completely different from a TV conference, all right? And, the, the TV conference, well, doesn't work for the blind persons. It's just like a telephone, right? But uh, uh, with this robot, you know, the, uh, we can share the tactile sensations. You know, blind person can, can feel the, my shape. And, and uh, you know, the, I also, the, I can have some feeling to be touched, right? And, uh, well, um, if we uh, use uh, this, the Android in a cafe, right, you know, the, um, we can make a friend, right? So actually, you know, we, we put uh, this, the uh, Android, the, in a corner of a cafe, the three weeks, and, uh, and, and, and just they observe the uh, people's reactions. The, the half of the people, they couldn't become aware of this, but another half of the people, you know, they, they have found uh, something wrong, and, 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 and they just come to talk. But, but once we start to talk, well, we, once we got the conversations, you know, the, uh, um, the people, they, they could naturally accept uh, uh, this robot, right? Actually, I could have uh, many friends there. And here, um, the, um, the another picture is uh, the conversation with my staff, right? That she was alone the, in this experiment, right? Um, and therefore, you know, the, she, al she always complained, I don't like to have a dinner alone. But, and then I, I have both, you know, let, let's have a dinner together, you know. They, I, 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 they operate the, uh, the Android. And she said, oh, this is good, you know, she, I, I'm not around anymore. So, um, so now we have, you know, the three people has the Android, and uh, in the near future, I, I guess, you know, you're going to have uh, your own Android. Why? The, for example, you know, if I get old, right, I'm teaching in, in, in a university, right, if I get old and if I need to stay in a hospital, definitely I'm going to use Android for teaching a class. Okay, so that uh, you know, I strongly recommend to buy uh, Android. Android is uh, is about uh, 100,000 US dollars. It's just like an expensive car, which is better. Well, you know, the car or Android. Android is quite safe, easy to transmit our presence to the distant place. But the car is uh, very dangerous, right? Please choose the Android, right? And uh, well, um, the, recently we are playing the Android theater with this, uh, well, with a uh, much more beautiful Android. And uh, last year, we have played uh, this Android theaters in a cathedral in Australia. Um, this was a challenge for me, but uh, you know, um, and, uh, we got a big success, right? And the people moved very much, and, uh, and people said that Android was like a Mario. But that, is, that was a problem for me, you know? So what I want to develop is, uh, is, the, um, is, is a robot that has a human likeness. I want to, you know, make a, I wanted to make a copy of a human, not Maria, not God, right? You know, so this robot was so beautiful. Therefore, you know, this was much better than the, maybe a human, right? And, 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 the, and well, the, what I want to say here is Android can, you know, well, the, the beyond, well, some of the um, um, presence, the beyond the humans, right? 
Well, you know, the, the here in you know, Android is the representing the uh, human-like death, but uh, you know, the human cannot represent like this. You know, the, the Android is much better. So um, the perfect uh, Android or human is not so human-like. See? So well, what is more human-like? So my answer is this. So human, uh, humans interact with others by using the imaginations, right? You know, so we recognize other persons by, uh, you know, um, by watching their facial expressions, by hearing a voice, by sna uh, the snare, right? It's so complicated, right? And roughly speaking, so we have some imagination about other persons. So the what we we wanna we have to do now is is the minimal design that maximizes the imaginations our imaginations. So, and therefore you know I have designed the this, well the um, minimal human, okay. So this one this well the this, definitely this one looks like a human, but we cannot tell the age and the genders. You know, we have that kind of a design policy, there. and you know that we, you know, we used for the the, the um, uh, this design for uh, the Geminoids or you know the um, conversations uh, with the robot, and the actually you know the, um, the this is the conversation between the uh, elderly and and the child, right? And the, once we hear the voice from this one, right? So usually we have an imagination about the speakers, right? And then we can mentally project that imagination onto this neutral appearance. And actually, the, this one works very well, right? And, and especially the elderly likes it very much. And you know, even if uh, you know, they hesitate to talk to the humans, but they never hesitate to talk to this robot, right? No exceptions. Now we are running the field test in Denmark. Denmark, Denmark is a very famous country for the welfare system, right? So, um, so the. Um, Probably, the, I would say like this, you know, the, the media the, it, it was for the everybody, but, uh, you know, um, uh, media is going to choose the users, and the media will be more human-like, life-like, and the media works as a, hum a kind of a human in your life, right? So, like this one, okay? We're going to accept that this kind of a very human-like, the Android. So, uh, anyway, I, I, well, um, we got a big success the, in application um, for the elderly people, then you know, I have I have decided to start a new project with this one. So this one gonna be uh, the mobile phones, right? You know, iPhone. You know, now you, know, you are using iPhone. But iPhone is uh, just a small computers, right? But but uh, you know, the, um, iPhone does not have any the advanced function for uh, the communications. I mean, um, iPhone is uh, just you know the uh, talking function of iPhone is is same as the previous the uh, mobile phone, right? What, what is the real innovation? What, the real innovation is transmit our presence to the distant place. Actually, you know, the, we can do that with this shape, with this, you know, the, uh, sh the shape of uh, the mobile phone. You know, when we hear the voice from here, you know, we, the, we can have uh, some, uh, the, the feeling of uh, uh, the presence of that speakers, right? So another the, the important, the one more thing, one more thing is, uh, so now you know that we are using a Siri for uh, the iPhone. So it's voice recognition functions, right? You know. So my question is, uh, you want to talk to the black box? No, it's, it's very strange, right? You know? So when we talk, you know, probably you know, human-like mobile phone is much better, right? <laughs> much easier to talk, right? You know? That is human innate abilities. So um, just give me, well, actually, you know, I have they already they, uh, developed the cell phones, and just give me a one, one year, you know, they, well, we, we're going to see uh, this kind of uh, the scenes the many pre in the many places, right? And uh, the please buy this, you know, the mobile phone. That. So, um, uh, last three slides, and then transhumanity, the someday the, uh, um, the boundary between the human and the machine disappears, and, uh, you know, but however, you know, the, uh, the, uh, well, still we have a questions. Can we separate the body and the mind as a humans? But what is the definition of a humans? So always, you know, we are looking for the definition of a humans, and uh, always we are looking for the what is, you know, thinking, the what is the heart and the mind. So of course, you know, we don't have uh, the answer yet, but, uh, you know, the, this is uh, my current answers. So we believe each other that we have heart and mind. Therefore, you know, I can believe, uh, I can believe that I have heart and mind. So. Uh, anyway, so I want to prove the, uh, this hypothesis by building a robots more. Thank you very much. <laughs>